Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. So prompt is one of the important thing while handling your research uh, that is your AI tool for your research paper writing. So in order to get perfect prompts there are many sites will be available. So in this video we are going to discuss about a prompt library in which different types of prompts related with research and education will be present. So let us go on to today's video and explore that prompt library. So before that an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct online workshop on AI powered research paper crafting the chat GPT and AI revolution. The main objective of this workshop is to familiarize you all with different AI tools which will be useful for research paper writing and also we are going to discuss about different types of research prompts especially research prompts that will be using uh, useful in chat GPT and we are going to generate content from that research prompts in chat GPT and different AI chatbots. So this uh, workshop will be very helpful for those who are doing research and research paper writing. So don't forget to register our online workshop. So the link of the registration will be given in the description of this video. See you on our workshop. Moving on to our today's video, the tool what we are going to discuss today is that easy prompt library. So just to Google it easy prompt library, you will be getting this prompt library here. So here you will be having different categories. You here you can see the different categories, academic, ads, I have some blog, career coach, content writing, copywriting, uh, next customer service, design, e-commerce education email uh, entertainment entrepreneur next you can see finance human resource job search life coach marketing mid journey product management prompt reading <coughs> seo social media startup writing so these are the different options available so as far as research is concerned you can uh, you can explore different types of options here starting from your academic so first you click on academic so here after I have clicked academic so these are the different academic prompts uh, here so here you can see a literature review for your research product so I am going to click literature review for your research product so here comes your prompt so act as a graduate student in a specific field you have been tasked with writing a literature review for your research project your literature review should provide an overview of existing research on specific topic and identify gaps or areas where further research is needed your literature review should include at, at least 10 peer reviewed sources published within last 5 years and you should critically evaluate and synthesize these sources to build a cohesive argument. Your literature review should be structured in a clear and logical way with subheadings to help organize your ideas. Additionally, you should provide an explanation of the methodology used to search for and select sources. Finally, your literature review should adhere to the style guidelines set forth by your department or discipline. So this itself is enough for a detailed literature review prompt. So you can make use of this literature review prompt in any of the chatbot to generate a better content, especially chat GPT. So you can make use of this literature review prompt. So instead of uh, writing, write a literature review on a particular topic or generate a five references, 10 references on a particular topic instead of giving this, if you generate, uh, if you copy this, uh, this kind of prompt and you, if you give an input to any of the chatbot, so surely it will generate a better content because the training of a chatbot uh, will be based on the what uh, based on what is the prompt we are giving so according to the prompt it will analyze the data sets and it will generate very better answers for your research paper writing <coughs> next you can see writing a case study analysis as a graduate student so you can use this one also a better way to learn uh, concepts and topics with chat gpt so here you can use this one also next one is a research paper on a specific topic so i am going to click that one so a research paper on a specific topic as act as a graduate students working on a research paper you will choose a specific topic related to your field of study and provide three to five page research paper on your topic your page should contain an introduction literature review research methodology data analysis and conclusion you should also use at least five credible sources to support your argument and cite them according to the APA citation style. You can customize this APA citation style into Chicago or MLA citation style. Next is the final paper should be written in clear and concise language 
and demonstrate a thorough understanding of the topic include a reference list or bibliography at the end so like that you can make use of this option uh, that is a research paper on a specific topic so you can write a research paper using chat gpt so next one is that <coughs> here you can see what are the other things is available uh, in depth of book summary a discussion post on a scholarly article so here this will be also useful for us to make a literature review writing next a, <coughs> a study guide for a specific unit or chapter a curriculum for a new course uh, talk with any books crafting an introduction for a research paper so this is very very important crafting an introduction for a research paper so click on that crafting an introduction for a research paper so here you can see uh act as a researcher in specific field you are tasked with crafting an introduction for your research paper that highlights the problem being addressed and the significance of the research your introduction should provide a clear and concise overview of topic explain why it is important and identify any knowledge gaps or unanswered question that your research aims to address use academic sources to support your claims and provide a strong rational and uh, why your research is relevant and timely remember to consider your audience which consists of experts in the field and other researchers interested in the topic the final introduction should be uh, between 500 to 1000 words follow a logical structure and effectively capture the readers attention so this this uh, prompt surely will be a best to prompt for write a introduction part of your research paper so you can make use of this prompt to write introduction part of your research paper using any ai tool so you can copy and paste in chat gpt and uh, give you the topic you are working with and it will generate a better content for you so next one is a thesis statement and outline so click on the thesis statement and outline so here you can see so in order to generate a thesis statement and outline so you can use this prompt act as a graduate student who needs to write a research paper on a specific topic you will provide a clear and concise thesis statement an outline for your paper your thesis statement should be one sentence summary of a main argument you will make in your paper your outline should include the main points you will cover in each section of your paper make sure to incorporate best practices and industry standards for academic writing such as proper citation and organization your paper should be tailored to your intended audience which in this cause uh, which in this case you see your professor and fellow students in your academic field so you can make use of this uh, prompt to generate a thesis statement and outline for the topic you have chosen for your uh, that is research uh, research writing next crafting introduction of your research paper so next uh, we have discussed that one next one is a reflective essay on a course or topic next you can see writing an argumentative essay on a convers uh, controversial topic next uh, 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 annotated bibliography for a research project so a classroom activity for a specific subject and grade level a class syllabus for a semester long course a lesson plan for a perfect a specific subject and grade level a grand proposal for research funding use this tagline for your product creating an abstract for a conference paper so here i will click this one because uh, we, we are often used to write abstract for our research paper so here you can see act as a scholar or researcher who is preparing to uh, submit a conference you will provide a concise and effective abstract that captures the essence of your research the abstract should clearly state the research problem research methods main findings and implications of the research the abstract should be no more than 250 words and should follow the guidelines provided by the conference organizers so as i have already mentioned in many of our videos that your abstract must be between 150 to 250 words so thereby you will be getting a better and clear abstract for this so next one is that you can see uh, here english translator and improver so you can use this english translator and improver so in order to improve the quality of your uh, writing in your research paper so you can you make use of this option called english translator and improver so next one is writing a discussion section for a scientific paper so this one will be very important for us to research paper writing that is writing a discussion section for a scientific paper so again going to click this one so here you can see it is a very uh, big prompt so act as a research scientist your task now is to write a discussion discussion session section that interprets the results of your study 
and uh, explains their significance and places them in a context of existing research in your field uh, your discussion should address the following points so these are the important points to be taken care of while writing your uh, discussion section so here you can see Start, start with a brief summary of your results and the statistical significance. Interpret your findings and explain how they relate to your research questions and hypothesis. Discuss the strength and limitations of your study including any potential co co confounding variables or source of bias. Compare your results to those of other studies in the field and explain how findings fit it in with existing literature. Identify any new insights or implications of your study and suggest directions for future research. So you can make use of this option to write the discussion section of your research paper. So next one is that so here you can see till now we have discussed uh, more of the sections in our research paper writing we have discussed about abstract introduction literature review and discussion part so these are the important things available in this particular academic alone so you just click on academic so apart from this uh, you will be having uh, options in content writing so in content writing copywriting next you can see uh, education so in education you can see so these are the important things available in this easy prompt library so you can make use of this prompt you can copy and paste this prompts for your research paper writing it is for free so hope this video will be very helpful for you so because many of us are struggling to write a better prompt for our uh, for in order to generate uh, content from our AI tools so in order to do so this will help you to generate a better content where you can get decided results for uh, the question you have asked for so hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe our channel have a nice day thank you